Hello everyone, welcome to our new video about Azure API management. In the previously videos, uh, videos we uh, did a little bit with API management in logic app, in logic apps, in function apps. And today we're gonna uh, try to add throttling to our API management endpoint. So uh, first up, uh, go to portal, go to the portal that Azure. I already opened it, and I also opened my uh, API management uh, resource. Here it is, Car Rental API Management. Next thing, go to APIs, click on it. Now we're gonna choose the same uh, uh, API we did in the last videos. So this is the Car Rental. Next thing, uh, we can apply it on multiple endpoints or on all the endpoints that are inside this API. I'm gonna apply it for all the endpoints inside this API. Well, we click on uh, to the inbound uh, processing and we click on add policy next thing we need to choose for rate limit by key you have also have a quote by key uh, a quick uh, uh, sort of quick and simple explanation you uh, quote by key uh, you use that for like to have like uh, some kind of uh, limit for the subscription uh, for subscription to uh, do API calls in a month like 10,000 or 20,000 so maybe if you have like different plans you can say like okay plan A has 10,000 calls a month plan B has 20,000 etc and rate is actually more for uh, to prevent an uh, uh, CP overload or something like that because uh, you won't maybe your backend system cannot handle a thousand or two three thousand requests a minute so by rate limit we can set the limit for like hundred or six hundred uh, request uh, limit uh, request and uh, requests uh, a minute so that's why we, for that we can use rate limit by key so we click on rate limit by key we can specify how many calls I'm gonna put it on uh, 60 for now renewal so uh, when it, when will the user be allowed to do again 60 calls you want it each minute each hour well each hour would be a little bit hard but maybe if your system is like really really overloaded and it's like a free endpoint yeah maybe you can think about it but for now i'm just going to do it in 60 seconds next you know how we want to uh, count each um each request by ip address or by the uh, subscription uh, key uh, the user is using. I'm gonna keep it on API subscription. Next thing, um, how we want to increment it. We can do it only when uh, when a successful request is made or also uh, on any request. I'm now gonna keep it only on successful to keep it fair. Next thing, we click on save. It does take a little bit longer than uh, I expected. I'm gonna pause the video for now. Well, it's finished. Um, now in the next part, we're gonna test it. Uh, so if you uh, would like to take along, please uh, watch or else if you want to stop it for now, uh, please like, share, subscribe. But I'm gonna continue by testing it. Now how can we test it? Uh, I'm gonna test it by a small uh, change. I'm gonna make a small change in the setting I just added. As you see, uh, I've seen, I put it on 60, so 60 calls in 60 minutes, uh, in, in one minute, in, if it's going to be 61, 61 call will be uh, rejected due to uh, the, the rate limit by key. Now we're going to change it to uh, a smaller number to test it easy, easily. I'm going to test it, set it to uh, 5. Easier to test. Save it. That's done. We're gonna go to one of our calls, uh, like this one, the API calls that I get. We're gonna click on test. So uh, the test must become like at the sixth call, we need to get an error because if we do it in one minute. So let's start. Click on send. The first call, the second call, the third call, the fourth call, the fifth call. As you can see, too many requests. And that was our test. Welcome folks, thank you for watching and please like, share, subscribe and watch for future content and have a nice day.